Hey everybody, Chris the Cop, welcome back. And uh, yes, I'm excited to do these videos. Room clearing, how do you get into a room? Well, we're about to show you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all right. This is another tutorial to our tutorial ser series for Ready or Not. I wasn't really going to do a tutorial series until I got a lot of feedback from viewers and there were some great questions and there was uh, not so great comments. And I decided that I was going to answer both by doing these tutorial videos to the best of my ability given that this is still just a game. So basic room clearing that's what we're going to cover today this concept should be practiced and utilized when you're playing with your friends or playing online with other players if you want to beat the aim bot of the ai this is one of the best ways to do it now there are other ways that you can enter rooms you can use the shield which is going to be a whole other video but i'm just throwing it out there and when i do have other players with me we're going to kind of give you different angles so you can see what those look like. But I was just doing this, decided, you know what, I'm just going to throw this one together. Um, it's almost the end of the, you know, we're we're winding down 2023. And I was like, eh, let's, let's just do basic room clearing. So here you go. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. We're going to keep these videos quick and simple so you can watch them. And I'm interested to hear your questions. And I'm also interested in your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share and don't forget to hit that alert button because you just never know when I'm going to upload or live stream these videos. All right, take care. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to go into the training facility to talk a little bit about some room entries and kind of the, the rules. But remember, rules are only as good as the scenario that presents itself. So let's take a look at this door. It's kind of like a good part. They're talking about this is where you would kick a door this is where you open it. This is where you would uh, do your beanbag shotgun, lock pick, CO2, put your wedge, and mirror. As I talked about the Optawan, in your commercial buildings, doors are very tight. Don't get me wrong. I know Optawan exists in some form. It's just not a realistic tool at this time for municipal SWAT. Now... Breaching, boom, boom, realistic. We don't lock pick. We just will breach it. Don't have time to lock pick. So uh, it is what it is. I'm sure there's some teams out there that lock pick. Now, this scenario here, you see this? This is an obstacle. So we would all stack on the right. Stack on the right. We would go ahead and would someone would, would check the door. So press F. Okay, we know it's open. At that point in time, we don't need to say breach or up. But I would not have opened the door as a number one person. The person behind me would open the door because I would have kept lethal on the door. So would reach over, make sure lethal's going. Or if I was going to check lethal, my rifle would come down. The person behind me would keep lethal at the door. That's what would happen. Okay. And most likely, because I don't want my hand off the rifle, I'm the person in the front. So at this point in time, what's going to happen is they're going to be the ones to push the door open. They push the door open and we go in. Now... I'm just gonna open this door just for like this for sake, okay? So here's the thing. Now, when we enter, we have a couple of ways that we could enter this. The traditional way, it, well, no, there's not a traditional way, but we could, depending on the makeup of this, and now once again, things will change. Let's say we decided we're gonna do a crisscross. A crisscross, oh, well, first of all, crisscross won't work here because we can't put anybody right here, okay? I can't put anybody right here. So we're gonna go in, and I'm basically gonna be going to that corner the person behind me is going to be a button hook right to the right. So this is what I would look like. I would go straight here. Obviously, boom, boom, boom. We had that scenario there, okay? That's where I would go. And I would hold. Now, the person behind me would have been immediately, boom, in the door. And boom. And had that person there. But that has to be a simultaneous. I literally have to be standing here. And the first person has to be standing here. Those shots should almost be taken together. So first person comes in, move. Second person comes in, button hook. Oh, and there you go. Now we're faced with this. So it's this, the, the second person is now becoming the first person. They'd say closed door left, closed door left. 
have a uh, L-shaped hallway with glass on the right. So we would bend down, going across this. We'd be, you know, bend down so they can't see us. And then we'd peek the corner. Oh, man down, man down. Okay, peek the corner. Oh, suspect. Okay, there we go. So two people would have came into this room with me and we would clear that and then let everyone know we're coming out. But at that point in time, two of the people would have already have taken this and they would be holding. And that would be the next part. So they say, let's now, we're gonna breach this, okay? So we're gonna breach it from this side. Just kind of taking a look at my text messages. And boom, okay, and Sorry, flashbang would come out. Top, let it go. Let's go in. Okay, I got the I got the lead. I got so I look around real quick. Okay, I got closed door front, closed door front, open door left, open door left. All right, calling it out. We'd be closing, and then I'm gonna plug that hole, and then two operators are gonna work that way over there. I plug that hole. Oh, suspect. Pie, pie, pie. Okay, we're good to go. I'd be holding right here. Now, here's where we could crisscross. So I could be here. Uh, if the door was closed, another one could be here. And a crisscross basically goes, goes, I go the way I'm looking. And they go the way they're looking. Okay, even though it's kind of a dead end there. So that's where I would turn around immediately. Because if I came in this way... As I came in, I'm covering them, so they're they're taking out that suspect. And I turn the corner, and oh, sh boom, and then keep going in. All right, got closed door, closed door. So now, at this point in time, we could stack. Could, someone could be here. They could be here. Just all really at this point in time depends on your team training. This one kind of sucky. We don't have a lot of room here. We don't have a lot of cover. Remember, it's all about cover. So we could just right here, we could hold lethal. The breacher could come around with the ram. We're just gonna use this as our uh, ram. Boom. Let's go back to this. And at this point in time, look at Come, come straight. I would come in here. And the other crisscross would have come in. They would do the button hook. And they're got, now they're, now they're the lead. Now they're, I'm, you know, I got lead, hall boss, and I got a closed door. So they could call Breacher up. Let's go ahead and do attack reload. Call Breacher up. Oh, <laughs> that would help to load up my breaching shotgun, right? Okay, Breacher up. Boom. Boom. And Breacher would back out and primary would go in. Now, once again, you go based upon the person who, so if this person all of a sudden button hooks, then this person knows they got to do the same. They got to get around that corner and do the same, okay? So as they enter, boom, suspect, suspect, suspect. Okay, I got an open door in front of me, open door in front of me, got some type of L-shaped hallway with an open door right, open door right. And then people would say, okay, you got three behind you, four behind you. I would say, I'm gonna move up and, or I'm gonna block this hallway. I need two to move up there, two to take that. And at some place, go. And we would go around the corner and I would be holding that. Two people operators would have stepped in here, taken this. And then two operators would have taken this way and they would hold on that door. At that point in time, we'd all see what we have. We got this closed door, we got that held and we have this held with that open door, which should be through and through the other side. So one operator would sit here and wait, holding lethal, and two operators would come over here and they would do the same thing. And let's go ahead and kick. I don't like kicking. And boom, they go in. And then suspect. Got a closed door right, closed door right. And then there's our through and through. Blue on blue, blue on blue. Oh, let's see. Hi, blue and blue. I got a little whiskey there. No drinking on the job. And then at this point in time, we'd all stack on the right right side right here. We check the door.
Doors unlock. Peek. Oh, look at it. And we would go in. Oh, and then we're through and through. So we're good. Glued. Blue on blue. We come back all over here. Looking for work. Looking for work. And we all come over here. Okay, we all ready. Here we go. Whoever's the hall boss. And it's unlocked. Uh, hey, we think some suspects are back there. So let's go ahead and breach and throw a flashbang. Boom. Bang. Let's go in. Big. Suspect down. Suspect down. Multiple suspects. Now, at this point in time, I would have stepped in, engaging these suspects, or this suspect, and my partner would have came in and seen that and engaged those suspects. And we'd be side by side. So, we'd be side by side. Right here, we would not go any deeper, and at this point in time, we'd make a plan. It looks like he can't go around this, so he's gonna go, we're gonna go side by side. So, I'm gonna button hook to the left, and they're gonna go side by side, get as far deep as they possibly can, watching this door over here. Here we go, button hook. Oh, it's up there. Okay, there we go. We're side by side, side by side. Close door left, close door left, and we're back here. And at this point in time, we're gonna go ahead and go breach. Oh, shit. Ah. Didn't make it in that door. Does that happen? It has happened. Yes. Okay, let's get our butts in. Suspect. My partner would have gone off to the side here and button hook, but they wouldn't have been able to button hook so much. And then we're back to the entrance. And that's what that would look like. I know I did that fast. But if you're looking for ways to enter rooms you and you're, you're, you're playing with other players, that is the best way because, like I said... So both of you, one's gonna enter fast, and one's gonna enter fast. Ooh, engage, boom, boom, boom. And then see the other one would have entered, the other one would have entered and gone here and covered your six. So that's how you stay alive with the AI, especially in this game. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so that is it for this episode on basic room entry. We'll expand upon this later when I have more actual live people that I could play with and we could come down here. But I just want to kind of put this little next video tutorial together for you to talk about some, like I said, basic room entry. Are there other ways that other people do it? Yes, there are. So there is just really no one way, but you should be going through the breaches, either button hook or using a crisscross. And if you can, pie your corners. Uh, wide pies are really, really good. You obviously you can do Q and E to get in there. All right, so all right, so that's just a basic room entry. Uh, there are a lot of way different ways to do this, um, but if you are playing in this, uh, you're playing in ready or not, and you're with players, that's one of the best things to do. Either use a crisscross where you're both going through that doorway at the same time, so you can cover your angles, or you're using a button hook, same concept, to get in there so the AI can't get you from the side. So that's what I would recommend. There are other things that we're going to talk about in regards to that in future videos, but this was just a quick, basic room entry on how tactical teams are doing it. It's no big secret. You can watch all the stuff on YouTube because people are going to be like, oh my gosh, you're giving away the tactics. Now I know what to do. It's not big secrets, okay? There are ex-police officers who have this training who have become bank robbers. There's people who go to the military who go to the military to learn tactics to be bad people. So there's always going to be nefarious people. And since we have the World Wide Web, you can get this information anywhere. You can get training manuals, videos, all that type of stuff. So it's all available there. But we're just kind of bringing it to you for ready or not. So have some fun with it. All right. That's it for me. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. We can make the world a better place by just helping one person at a time that could be with a simple smile, a nice comment, or a nice gesture. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Krista Copperman and all of you. Peace. And watch those angles. And your six.